What's up everybody? It's uh, Joe Tikash again and uh, it's been a minute since I made a YouTube video for my subscribers and I wanted to uh, make this special video for you guys with uh, something new that I, I've been wanting to do for a minute and I uh, finally got some time to make this video and it's uh, one of my favorite super villains in uh, Marvel you know comics and uh, a lot of you people who are close friends to me I probably already know that in the Marvel world my favorite supervillain is none other than the Mad Titan Thanos and I've been wanting to make a video about this I'm, I thought we would see a little bit more of the uh, Celestial Beings and the Doctor Strange um, uh, I just recently went and watched it and now that Doctor Strange is in the books um, I was uh, kind of shocked that I, you know what I mean, I didn't get to see no big, uh, you know, cameo for anybody and uh, that was in the movie. I thought somebody was going to appear new in the MCU and nobody really appeared and it's kind of shocking to me that this year in Marvel MCU, nobody really big names popped up that uh, I thought that we would possibly see from the comics. But uh, I got a stack of books here that I want to show you guys a lot of key issues, um, you know, some first appearances and just a lot of my favorite Thanos Warlock tie in books. So uh, I want to get into this haul here with you guys. I've been doing a lot of buying next week. I'm about to ship a big shipment of books out, probably about 25 books into CGC, CGC and uh, I'm just excited about that. So. A lot of these books I'm not going to be able to show you guys uh, again until I get them back from CGC. So I figured I'd make this video right now so that you guys can check out these gorgeous books in my collection. Alright, so the first book I want to show you guys, I just picked this baby up. This book I've been wanting for two years and I finally got it. Um, this is the first appearance of Thanos. This is the first time you've seen Thanos in comics. This book is gorgeous. It's uh, Iron Man number 55. This is also the first appearance of Drax the Destroyer. You got the first appearance of the Blood Brothers. And I believe it's the first appearance of Kronos. And uh, this book is gorgeous, man. I, I paid enough for it. You know what I mean? I wanted to get this book in a high grade. It's, it's I, I believe this book should get a 9.0. I would be shocked if it gets anything under a 9.0 the book is flawless it's beautiful i just got it pressed and i'm gonna get it pressed again pressed and cleaned uh worst case scenario comes back at 8.0 but i mean uh with you know with dr strange in the books and you know we got captain marvel coming up and we got a lot of other you know black panther coming up and and the inhumans was just announced for the Fox uh, show that's going to be ran completely and entirely in IMAX with an IMAX special screening you know I this is the next thing I'm excited about I'm excited about the Infinity War movie coming out and uh, before this book starts to go crazy on eBay I had to go ahead and pick it up this is one of the books that I'm going to be submitting into CGC next week I'm just really excited and happy about that one I also got this one here. This is Logan's Run number six. Anybody who's collecting Thanos should have this in their collection. This book here, I believe, is like a 9.6, 9.4. It's a beautiful looking book. This is the first solo Thanos story. Another book that I love. And this is one of the first books that I got when I uh, started collecting about a year and a half ago uh, heavy again and um, I'm just uh, it's been in my collection I had it put away and I'm gonna ship this one out too next week it's one of my favorite books in my collection um, this is Captain Marvel number uh, 26 a lot of people might not be able to see but you got Thanos over here with the Mistress Death I'll kinda try to zoom it in a little bit you got Thanos and Mistress Death in the wind over here watching these two battle to the death and uh, this is the first cover appearance of Thanos and this is the Thanos story it's it begins on this one here and uh, it's just a beautiful looking book 
I would grade this one if I had a choice to grade it. I would say it's at least a 9.2, 9.4. It's a beautiful looking book. I plan on getting this one pressed and clean with CGC. I just love this one, man. Just, let's take a look at this one again. You know, you got thin, you got the thing from Fantastic Four, and he's battling Captain Marvel, and he's like, "It's clobbering time." He's ready to clobber him. This <laughs> is an awesome book, and uh, the colors on that book is just beautiful. I love that blue cover, man. Another one of my favorite books. I seen this off of another fellow YouTuber. I was watching a video, and I said, "I gotta have that book." It was when it first came out. Somebody posted it on YouTube. And I was like, you know what, I gotta get this book. It's cool as hell. This is Deadpool versus Thanos, the variant to number one. You got Thanos in the background, like, ah, you got my woman. And you got Deadpool, and he, he's got the, you know, Mistress Death. And she's like, oh, I found my new love, Deadpool. And they share the same love for Mistress Death, I, I guess, in the comics. It's just a weird, like, love for death. You know, Deadpool is psycho. Like Thanos, and he loves her, I guess. So this is another gorgeous book that I have in my collection. This is the Avengers number 7, King Size Annual. And this is a beautiful book. I can't remember what the significance to this book is. I believe this is the death of Adam Warlock, if I'm not mistaken. You got Adam Warlock over there. It's just a cool Jim Starlin cover. And you got Thanos right here. And I, I believe it's the first appearance of the Infinity God. No, it's not the first appearance of Infinity God. I think it's the first time all the Infinity Stones were put together in a story. And this is, I believe that's what this one is. The first uh, mention or the first time all the Infinity Stones were put together in a story. I can't really remember. It's been a long time since I pulled that book out. This is another underrated key that people possibly don't even know about yet. And this is why I make these videos to let you guys know about little keys like this that can potentially be a big key one day. This is the Ultimates number 8, The Experts. This is a Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver cover. And the significance to this key is this is the first appearance of the Chitauri. The aliens that were in the first Avengers movie that destroyed New York with the uh that the Avengers were battling. The first time you seen Thanos um was it was linked and tied in with the Chitari. They were on the island they were on the planet of Titan and they went and they zapped, you know, what's his name's mind and was taking him back and forth because he had one of the stones. He's just a pawn. Loki is just a pawn in this big storyline which is gathering up the Infinity Stones for uh for Thanos. Another book that's awesome that I just picked up. This storyline is awesome. It's uh, Jim Starlin is on the story. And, you know, the original creator of Thanos. And this is a modern. It just came out, like, I believe last year or this year. And it's the Infinity Entity. You got Thanos on top of Warlock. He's just, he looks awesome. The, co the covers on these books are epic. The artwork is epic. The storyline is epic. They're going back into the original uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Warlock, they're all tying it together, and there's a lot of flashbacks, and it's just, it's an awesome book. Another little key that's underrated is the New Avengers Infinity, number 10. This key a lot of people don't know about either, possibly. This is the first appearance of Thanos' son, uh, Thane, and it's just a cool book. Cool looking book, and uh, I had to get it. I have most of Thanos' daughters and sons, and the only one I don't have is uh, Strange Tales, um, the uh, first appearance of Gamora. I don't have that one yet. I do, I've been thinking about picking it up sometime this year before the end of the year. Another book that I have, and I don't know why I haven't got this graded yet, it should be already graded. Um, this is the Infinity Gauntlet number one. I might possibly send this one out to CGC or CBCS soon as well. Um, I've been waiting on it. It's a gorgeous looking book. It's the first print. Um, and, uh, book is flawless. I believe this book has to have, has to come back 
a 9698. There is nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. Might possibly get a 96 just for the simple fact that there's a little tiny bit of the corner right there and it's nicked. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a little bit of corners nicked. That other than that, book is flawless. It's beautiful. This is a George Perez cover as well. I mean, just check out the cover. You got Warlock, Silver Surfer, The Gauntlet, Thanos, Mistress Death. All the superheroes around are shocked. Like, oh my gosh, he's got the gauntlet. It's about to be world chaos. And that's what he does when he gets the gauntlet. Another one I have is the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, this is the Secret Wars tie-in. Scotty Young variant. I love Scotty Young artwork. Uh, he's at, he's, you know, it's the Infinity Gauntlet. The variant, and he's like, come at me, bro. You know what I mean? Little Scotty Young, little baby Thanos is looking awesome. And um, this is a homage cover to, I believe, I think it's Infinity Gauntlet number two that that one was, that's homage cover of. This story is one of the only, this is one of the only Thanos stories that I read the complete series. It's one of my favorite storylines. It's Infinity, the Marvel event. And look at that cover. I mean, they got a lot of variants to this, and they're all sick. They're all epic. Um, dope covers. I have the whole set, the whole series. Like I said, I read them all. I love them. Um, I plan on getting another set for my personal, uh, you know, like high grade. And, you know, every one variants. I want to get all the variants for this soon because I'm going to start going heavy. I'm almost done with my Submariner collection. A lot of people that are my close friends know I'm a big Submariner fan, and I've been trying to complete the whole second series run, and I'm almost done. I only got a couple issues, um, and I, I'm close to having almost every single Submariner book that I could possibly get my hands on. I'm still missing a couple of them, but um, you guys want to comment, let me know what you guys got. I'm always interested in doing trades. I also administer my own Facebook group on Facebook. It's called The Collector of Superheroes. And uh, I get a lot of, you know, trustworthy sellers slash traders in there. It's a great group to be a part of. Look me up. I'm the minister, uh, administrator, and I can, you know, add you to the group if you're interested in doing that. Uh, another book that's awesome, beautiful, Annie Granoff cover. This is the Infinity Gauntlet number one variant, Secret Wars tie-in. This is an awesome cover, man. Look at that. That's such cool art. This Ida Granoff guy, he's just epic with the artwork. He got a Nova up up front. You got Thanos in the background looking evil. Like, just sick. That's one of my favorite variants. There was a time when I was I was going to sell it, and I'm happy I didn't. Um, these next two books I just got at the Comic Con. And um, I'm really excited I got them. Um, I went to a little small con. I took a Silver Surfer number one up there, and the book was flawless. And uh, I wanted little money for it. I wanted 450 bucks for it. A guy jumped all over it. I even dropped down to 400, but the guy seen the value and the quality of the Silver Surfer one was I'll give you 450 bucks for it. Gave me cash. I had a little bit of money to play with at the con. I love when I take books like that to the small cons. And make a, have a lot of success. I sold over $1,000 worth of books at the con recently. And I had a little bit of money to play with. So I made a trade for this book. I traded uh, Amazing Adventures number 11. The first appearance of Beast with Fur. I traded that. And I got this book here. It was a beautiful book. And I'm just so excited. I got the, the first one here I want to show you guys is book one to the Thanos quest. Just look at that, Jim Starling. This book is flawless. It's got a grade of 9.8. I would be shocked if it's nothing other than a 9.8. And for some reason, this book is getting kind of hard to find in a high grade like this. And if it is, it's expensive. I got, he had $70 for the set. I traded him for $60, oh, $60 book for these two. I'm extremely happy with it. I finally got it. This isn't going anywhere but the CGC. The Thanos Quest, number one. And I also got the Thanos Quest, number two. Now, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't realize. 
I'm almost 100% positive this is the first time Thanos uses the Infinity Gauntlet. This is the first time he wields it and he uses it. So he's, he's finally, I think this is the last stones that he needs. He's finally got it together. Now Thanos got the Infinity Gauntlet in this book. And look at the look at that. I mean, look at the artwork on there. This book looks absolutely gorgeous in a CGC uh, signature series slab. The, the yellow on it and the blue, the colors on it are just amazing. It's uh, Jim Starling, Ron Lim, John Beatty, and Tom Vincent that collaborated to bring you this beautiful story, beautiful graphic novel. It's like a it's like a you know square bound thick book. So you always get those nickage stuff, but I mean, look at how gorgeous that is. It's flawless. It's a brand new book. Just beautiful. I'm just excited and happy to have been blessed with that one. Another one I found recently for cheap. I didn't even know it existed, but it's just a cool book. I don't even know if it has any significance, but it's also Jim Sterling and Ron Lim, and it's a one shot to Thanos Quest. The artwork on that one. Cool book. All right, we're going down to the last two books in the collection, and I wanted to show you guys this before I ship it out to CGC. This is a gorgeous book I found at another small con, Strange Tales featuring Warlock number 178. Now, what the artwork on this book is incredible. I love this cover. I love Warlock. He's, you know, he's coming out like but what the most significant thing for me as a collector for this book is, dude, this is Jim Starling on the cover, on the art, and on the story. You don't see that. That's rare. This dude drew the cover, he wrote the story, and he's in the artwork. That is just sick. To me it is. And I believe this book will grade none other than a 9.6. Worst case scenario, 9.4. I'm really, really be happy, be so happy if this book gets to 9.8 Love from CGC. This is another book that's getting shipped out next week. Book is flawless. I plan on getting it uh you know pressed and clean but there's a couple little defects along the spine other than that ain't nothing i can see wrong with this book i just it's gorgeous i really hope cgc looks past those little minor defects i'm gonna get it pressed and cleaned and i plan on submitting this next week to cgc the last book actually you know another thing i wanted to add about this warlock this is also the warlock storyline it begins on this book the warlock storyline begins and this is the first appearance of the magus yep the first appearance of the magus for people who don't know about this strange tales number 178 now the magus was the altar self of warlock he was the evil self of warlock because warlock broke into two entities he had the good side of him and the bad side of him Magus was the bad side of him that, uh, you know, took over Warlock. This last book is, I just, you know, I can't even explain how beautiful and flawless this book is. This is Warlock number 10. And the book has got to grade a 9.8. It's just absolutely flawless. Warlock 10. This is the first appearance of the in-betweener another warlock villain and uh you got the magus right here and you got warlock right here but the significance about this book to me is that it's the first time you get to understand what the origin of thanos really is and the origin of gamora it explains them too and how they connect and that's going to be a big key to have when the uh the, the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 movie comes out because you're gonna have then you got Warlock and he's battling everybody I mean that's my main man Warlock that's why I got a lot of his stuff and you're gonna have a lot of that in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 trying to piece together Gamora Star-Lord Thanos I don't think Thanos is gonna make an appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 but I'm just really excited about that coming out and uh, that's it on my books uh, anybody who hasn't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. 
give me a like, share my, you know, my, uh, my YouTube channel and my video, and I'm going to be making more videos. Shouts out to my buddy Red Rum, my buddy, my whole PS4 fam, uh, all my Facebook family, IG comic family, anybody who's giving me likes, the collectors forum, shout out to them. I post a lot of my videos on their, on their Facebook page, and it'd be wrong for me not to give them a shout out. I do apologize. I haven't made a, a video in quite some time. I've been kind of busy collecting, but uh, I plan on shooting two more videos tonight and tomorrow, and so I'm going to have some videos already ready to be uploaded and, uh, you know, ready for you guys to view here soon. I plan on doing some Batman videos, maybe a Warlock video, and a couple other big key videos, so be on the lookout for those, and I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight on this Saturday. Uh, keep collecting, my friends, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Joe T. Kosh, peace. One, I'm out.